So in this video, I'll discuss the meaning of the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Okay? So according to Heisenberg, there are two fundamental properties that separate waves from particles. Okay? So for particles, we have the so-called position. So kapag alam mo yung position ng particle, mahirap i-determine ang kanyang momentum kasi you don't have the knowledge of its motion. So hindi mo alam dito yung kanyang kinetic energy, okay? hindi mo alam kung saan siya nag-move, basta alam mo lang kung nasaan siya exactly okay? at a certain period in time. So, kapag ka nakuha mo lang yung next niyang position at another time period, dun mo lang malalaman yung kanyang uh, momentum or energy or speed at least. Okay? Pero kapag yan lang ang alam mo, yung position, hindi mo alam kung gumagalaw siya o hindi. Okay? So, kapag waves naman, we have the momentum. So, kapag ka alam mo yung momentum ng waves, alam mo kung saan siya nagpapropagate, alam mo kung saan siya papunta. Pero you cannot actually determine its position. Wala kang knowledge doon because waves propagate all throughout space. Okay? Hindi mo pwedeng i-pinpoint kung nasaan yung wave because waves okay, don't have the property of position. They only have a property called momentum. Alam mo lang kung saan siya nagpapropagate pero you cannot pinpoint where the wave is. Okay? Kasi waves are everywhere. Yun ang um, according to Heisenberg. So, paano natin i-reconcile yung idea ng isang entity na both particle and wave or a particle and wave natured uh, something or entity? Okay? So, Para magkaroon ka ng both particle and wave property, dapat magkaroon ka ng knowledge on both the position and the momentum. However, Heisenberg explained that to be able to quantize a wave, so kapag kinu-quantize mo kasi ang wave, uh, nire-restrict mo siya sa isang certain position okay, or at any certain positions. So para magkaroon ka ng knowledge kung nasaan yung wave na yun. So to be able to do that, you have to give up your knowledge about its momentum. So bibigyan mo siya ng chance na magkaroon ng iba't ibang values ng momentum. So, kapag ka ganun ang ginawa mo, so pag pinagsama mo yung waves na to, okay, tsaka yung waves na to, magkakaroon ka ng mga interferences. So, kapag constructive interference, nag add up yung waves mo, nag increase yung iyong um, amplitude. Okay? Pero kapag ka naman yung waves ay nagkaroon ng uh, destructive interference, okay, nagkakaroon siya ng cancellation, nawawala yung iyong wave. Okay? So, ganyan yung nangyayari kapag ka pinagsama-sama mo itong mga waves na ito na may iba't ibang values ng momentum. So, nagkakaroon ka ng destructive and constructive interferences. So, nawawala yung mga uh, waves na nag interfere destructively. Ang natitira yung mga nagko-constructive interference. Okay? So, nagkakaroon ka ng wave packets. So, these wave packets represent position. So, nalalaman mo kung nasaan yung mga wave uh, energies or kung saan na siya nagpapropagate at kung saan siya nahandun at any period in time. Okay? Nakakaroon ka ng uh, lower position uncertainty. Nakakaroon ka ng more certainty about the uh, position. So, yung delta X mo, bumababa. Kasi ang ibig sabihin ng delta, kapag mas malaki yung delta, hindi mo alam kung ano yung value or nawawala yung, yung uh, certainty about the value. Okay? It's a certain range kasi kapag tinataas mo yung range, ibig sabihin nawawala ka ng masyadong idea doon sa totoong value niya ng position. So, Ang nangyayari naman dito sa momentum, nag increase yung uncertainty. Tumataas yung delta, tumataas yung possible range of values. So, hindi mo na talaga alam yung uh, kanyang uh, um, momentum. Okay? So, at a certain level of precision, hanggang ganun lang yung magiging knowledge mo ng momentum. You can only know that the momentum is within this value or within this range. Okay? So, kapag mas mataas yung range na yun, mas uncertain ka. Pero nag increase yung uh, certainty natin sa position. So, ibig sabihin, bumababa yung value ng delta x. nag approach tayo sa isang single value. So, ganyan ang mangyayari kapag ka kinuantize natin yung wave. Kapag ka inalam natin yung position ng isang wave. Okay? Paano naman kapag ka gusto natin malaman yung momentum ng isang particle? So, i-give up naman natin yung knowledge natin ng precision. Okay? So, bibigyan natin siya ng iba't ibang um, chances na magkaroon ng iba't ibang values naman ng position. So, ililipat-lipat natin yung particle sa iba't ibang places. So, bibigyan natin siya ng chance na magkaroon ng iba't ibang positions. So, hindi na tayo certain dun sa position niya. Tataas naman yung okay, delta x. So, magkakaroon siya ng momentum. Kasi, nalalaman mo yung position niya at any period in time or at any uh, time interval. So, nagkakaroon tayo ng certainty naman sa momentum. Okay? So, according to Heisenberg, pwede natin i-reconcile tong idea na to. So, ano yung limit ng ating precision or ating knowledge sa position and momentum ng isang quantum entity. So, that is the inequality. Okay? So, the delta x, delta p is greater than or equal to the Heisenberg limit which is h over 4 pi. Okay? So, that is the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. So, hindi tayo magkakaroon ng perfect knowledge about both the wave 
and the particle nature. Magkakaroon lang tayo ng mga uh, certainty values, okay? Hindi siya perfect ang precision. So in short, this is the limit of our knowledge about the position and the momentum of a certain quantized entity. Okay? So that's the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Okay? So the limit is very small. Okay? That's why the wave-particle duality can only be obvious kapag ka microscopic yung ating realm. So hindi nyo yung napapansin kapag ka malalaki ang ating mga particles okay? at kapag ka slow-moving sila. So hindi natin napapansin na yung mga particles pala ay may wave nature and yung waves may particle nature sila. So sa microscopic systems lang natin sila napapansin kapag lumiliit yung ating mga particles. Kasi nagiging mas malapit siya sa value ng ating Heisenberg's limit which is h over 4 pi or h bar over 2 kapag ka yung h bar ay h over 2 pi. Okay? So that's my discussion on the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. So see you next video.